Good morning, modern steaders. Finally, February. The groundhog didn't see his shadow, so we're gonna be having an early spring. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <sighs> February can be like a long month. I think for everybody, but especially on the homestead. You know spring is coming, but you still got a while. So I try to take this opportunity and plan so when springtime comes, we can have a lot of projects done. We can hit the road running. That being said, today we got another fun project to stop building. You boys are starting to make a huge mess with your hay. You're wasting so much lately. Why are you wasting so much of your hay, huh? Go ahead, get up there. We live up in northern New Hampshire, we're in a growing zone 4B. So our springs can tend to be wet, cold, and long. So for raising like baby chicks, yeah, we always gotta keep them in the basement. And this year we don't want to. So we're gonna be building a chicken coop slash brooder all in one that'll help us be able to start raising our chicks sooner and with a better outcome. Good morning, girls. You and your sideways hop again there, Hope. Oh, you missed them, Tanner. You missed them. Oh, no, go to the feeder. Go to the feeder. Quick, 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 quick. We also need a second chicken coop for Rusty and his ladies. So I'm thinking if we build the chick brooder and Rusty's chicken coop all in one, we're going to make it a little bit different from New York City so we can test it out and see which one performs better over time especially in the winter. I'm gonna do a couple of modifications to see what works. So. There you girls go. It's one of the things I love about homesteading. There's so many things you can experiment with and try different options to see what works best for you and your climate. Gardening's the same thing. There's never a failure in gardening. It's always just a new lesson. Same with homesteading. Every project, every animal thing you do, there's always something to learn in it. Sorry, I keep looking down. I don't want to trip. The snow is hard as ice. I just dumped out the girl's water and look how the ice stayed left. That's pretty wild. Oh, that's crazy. The whole reason we want to keep Rusty and his chicks and a few other chicks separate from Moose in New York City is we want to hatch out eggs from Rusty and his gang and if we keep him with Moose we won't be able to know who's the daddy <laughs> until we hatch him out and we get tiny chicks. Um, and Moose and Moose and Rusty will probably fight. They're not going to get along so we need two different coops for that. We've had a lot of people say that Moose won't be able to fertilize the eggs. Oh he can fertilize the eggs alright. We get little fertilized eggs out of New York City all the time. We need to get a whole new flock ready to replace these ladies because they're gonna be really slowing up with egg production this coming winter. So we gotta make sure we got a whole fresh batch, huh? Hey, how you doing? Sheesh, man. They are full of spunk. There go the goats. Everybody's just full of it lately. They must know that the groundhog said we're getting an early spring. We have two 4x6 hemlock posts that we're going to be using for our skids. They're supposed to be 12 feet long, but they're just over 13. Um, we're going to cut them down probably to 12 foot 6 inches, so we can have a couple of inches of overhang on each side. Ooh, that hurt my toe. Let's see how this go is trying to get them on the workstation to cut them to length. Hey, that went better than I thought it would. I like to mark down two inches and then do a 45. Way if we're dragging it and it gets hung up on something, it's kind of got a cut. 
cut out so it'll go up and over it a little easier. These things are nice and green still, so they're really heavy. It's like they just cut the tree down yesterday. Yep, nice and wet. Now hemlock is not, oh well, it's gonna rot, but it's a lot slower to rot than most woods. We don't, I didn't want to use pressure treated, so probably get, I don't know, we'll get quite a few years out of this anyways. Whew, so heavy I pushed the stand down. I got a cruel, cruel trick played on me yesterday. Cruel. cruel. My phone went off. I had a weather advisory. It said Monday and Tuesday you're going to have warm spring weather. So I was like, woohoo! I checked my phone, it says it's supposed to be high of a 30 today. So how's that spring weather? I got all excited. <gasps> what do you think spring weather is right Like now? 50. But I think I must think they must have been sent down an alert for the wrong area or something. Oh, was well, actually like an alert? Yeah, my phone went ding ding, so I looked like it was like weather advisory. Extremely high weather temps Monday and Tuesday, like spring weather. So I was like, oh what are the temps gonna be? And I'm like, oh, they lied. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that yesterday. Um, anyway, I got excited for about 30 seconds. Before I forget, I want to mark each end at three feet. Three feet, three inches. We're gonna insulate this chicken coop slash chick brooder. We're gonna start with the floor. That's our floor insulation. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna be using one by 12 pine boards for flooring. So I wanna cut these down because I w wanted 12 foot long boards and I didn't have 12 foots, but they had 16s that had bad ends. So they sent me 16 footers and only charged me for 12 footers. So we gotta cut these down to length and we'll do it out here instead of trying to bring these in and out of the shop with the cold weather. If the weather was nice, I'd just leave the garage door open and go in and out, but the weather's not nice. So let's square up this edge. It's probably dark in here, I bet you. Probably not very conducive for filming, but that's what we have to work with. Oh, you know what else we have to work with? That. I'll probably let some light in for you. Boom. Hopefully we'll be able to use some of this excess stuff somewhere else and get some use out of it. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting four more and then we'll be right back. I 
want to try to get everything in all at once that we're going to need today. So that way we only going to open the door one more time. Ugh. Keep some of our hot air in. Headlocks to secure them down instead of lag bolts. I'll mess with you. I'll take it. Do some pre drilling. Hold my tape. Flush it up, flush it up. Oh, we need to bring down more chalk dust. Oh, that heat feels nice.
Look, all your ice is melting off your two by fours. All right, you wanna grab that side and we'll just kinda gently lower them onto each other. So we're just gonna cheat this one out a little bit, flush it up, and then we'll just kinda make even gaps. Why don't you grab me the big square? All right, we got the floor done. That should be nice and draft free and keep all the baby chicks and the chickens warm in the winter. One question I have is I've seen in a trailer, they had bolted on axles, like the spindles, and they had wheels on it. And they were, they weren't like heavy duty trailer wheels. They were more like a wheelbarrow wheel, like that, just like a solid axle with a pin in it. I can't find those anywhere. If any of you have seen those anywhere, leave a link in the comments down below or email me. It would be interesting to see if we could just bolt on wheels or not on this. Be, then we could take them off and use them when we need them. We're gonna go to a friend's house for supper tonight and I said we'd bring dessert. So it's your, you get to choose what we're bringing. So yeah. I was thinking a blueberry cobbler mm -hmm. or blueberry crisp or a chocolate pudding cake. What do you wanna do? Um, chocolate pudding cake. Chocolate pudding cake? Yeah. Wanna use the one I found the other day? Yeah. I found one, um, from the Prairie Homestead the other day, the chocolate pudding cakes. We're gonna try that recipe out. Al will link it down below. Okay, I gotta preheat 350. One teaspoon, two teaspoons, two. Mm -hmm. Did you have any cocoa? Yes. Yeah, because that's what we just did. That's what we were just yeah. talking about. All right. Half cup. Or maybe it's half cup. Butter and stuff. 
for you, yeah. okay? Yeah. All right, here's the butter. I want to put in the milk. Com compacted. I'm going to spray this, even though I'm not sure if we're supposed to, but it's like, it might stick on there. Mm -hmm. Do you need me to hold a bowl? Yeah. It's the best we're gonna get spread out. Like pudding cake. Are you sure you want to put that in the oven? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's see. Hold on. Okay, it's really hot. Can I reach over? Careful. Scared. Well, you're the one that wanted to do it. Good job. I did it. Good job. Alright, we'll see what it comes out like. It says 45, but we'll do 40 because sometimes our stove is a little bit much. So we'll try 40 and see. There's going to be four eggs. Quattro? Yes. Cinco. Let's see who's right. Oh! Oh no! Those! Trace! Cuatro! Cinco! Yep. Dad was right. Oh, the hives will stay in here for a little while until we can paint them. And then we can move them outside once the nicer weather comes. What are you boys doing? You up to mischief? Get in. I'm the one making the mess with the hay this time. What's up with that, huh? What's up with that? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, hope a dope. Stay in. Wow, well, are you becoming friends with Tanner? Oh. Oh. Come, Miss B. Ah! Come on, Hopey, show him how to do it. I definitely think Willow's got some babies in her. She's got the trot. She's got the what? She's got the trot. She's got the, you got the trot, you're running around like you're pregnant. You got a pregnant waddle, is what Livy says. Yeah, that's what she told me. Yeah, there's babies on this side. Yeah. Daddy thinks it's done.
just supposed to be pudding. Pudding. The chocolate pudding cake was a hit. That was delicious. It went really well with some vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Well, we're building our new chicken coop slash chick brooder. And in my head, this is going to work really well. It's going to kill two birds with one stone. I guess it's probably not a good thing to say because we don't want to kill our chickens. So it's going to take care of two issues that we have on the homestead with one project. I think it's going to work out really well or that's what in my head it's doing. So we'll see. Time will tell. Hopefully in a few more days we'll have it finished up and then we can start planning on getting our some chick eggs to hatch out and having some baby chicks on the homestead. Oh, it's getting to be that time of the year where there's going to be so much new life. Looking forward to it. What is your favorite time about this time of the year or the springtime with the homestead or whatever it is that you do. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.